You know, like, um, for example, if you, you, you do a, say you're singing a, a chorus, and then you're going to double it. Right. You, so you, you sing the chorus double, then you could go in and you sample the main one. Oh, right. And it gets the time and everything, and then you, it's something yeah, you can, you can drop the, it in anywhere you want. But, it, but it, then they take it to the, the overdubbing, the, the double track, <laughs> oh, right. and it processes that track to be identical, but still it sounds like a double. Right, yeah. You know, but, you, you know, if you, your words, it brings the words and everything. Sure, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, this one, uh, the one we're using too, like you can bring it to a different key, you know. Yeah. Or, or you yeah. Can, oh yeah. Time, you can speed up the time or slow down the time, right. but it doesn't change change pitch. Change pitch. Right. Yeah, it keeps it right in pitch. And the same thing with this other track um, that you did a double. You can take it and drag it to another yeah. key thing, and it becomes harmony. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it actually does the harmony notes. It doesn't stay the same. Right. Well, and I, I know guys that do that, too. They'll take the chorus, and they'll sing it once, and then they'll just drop it in where they need yeah. it, you know, like the doublings of the chorus. They I think that's chintzy. I don't like chintzy. that. Me too. That's I don't chintzy. Like I'm sorry. That's yeah. chintzy. Because yeah. okay. yeah. my singer, yeah. though, he was, like, trying to do it. I go, no, you're not doing that. You're going to sing every chorus. <laughs> you're going to sing every chorus. Yeah, you know, <laughs> because as the song builds, so yeah. is the intensity yeah. of the, the chorus. Performance. Yeah, yeah, the performance, yeah. you know. He's like, oh, you're just not into letting me can play with this thing. I'm like, no, you're going to sing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it's called work. When you say this is a good thing my dad isn't producing it. Yeah. I, go, I hope you never have to do a vocal session with my dad. <laughs> I've got to bring him in just to teach you a thing. It's going to be a lesson called Norman Whitfield 1. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Jesse. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, hey, it's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm working, yeah. <laughs> and I'm telling him, uh, one, he, he harmonized, but he wasn't singing the whole thing. I said, no, don't sing the, exactly the same thing. Come in at, on this word here. Yeah, yeah. Leave the first half of it open and only harmonize on the yeah, second yeah. half of the of the chorus there. And he's like, oh, you put a lot of thought into this. I'm like, well, that's pretty standard <laughs> stuff. You know? I mean, uh, Party. I'm always a party. There goes Vivica. There goes Vivica. Hi, Vivica. Okay. All right. Back to task at hand here. This could this could turn out to be an interview. Yeah. You know, talking about what we're talking about is uh, Pro Tools, the and stuff. And stuff. Yeah. And how much and how much I hate Pro Tools. Yeah. I think when Pro Tools when Pro Tools first came out, some guy said to me that man, you can have like over hundreds of tracks or whatever he said. You know, hundred tracks. And so what am I going to do with a hundred <laughs> tracks? Yeah, and I really contend if you can't to out where you put where. Yeah, you know, if you can't do it in twenty four, <laughs> yeah. you don't belong there. You know. Exactly. God Almighty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, especially. Another, well, one thing is he had this special filter that he bought. You know, and um, it actually brings up a picture, like say, of a, a limiter and like a, an old LA three A. Yeah. And there's actually. Yeah, I was telling I was telling yeah. Bobby Nathan about that yeah. on the phone the other yeah. day, you know. And there's like a an, uh, like a Toltec equalizer. Oh yeah, right. Kind of yeah. Actually, you know, a, a shot of it. Right. Know? Yeah. And actually, with the mouse though, you know. You, you can, yeah, yeah, you manipulate it. Yeah. yeah. You have a whole bank of these things. You know? <laughs> the old, remember the old Fairchild limiter? Yeah. It, in fact, oh. we talked about that when he called the other day. He said, "What? He said, what was your favorite?" Piece of equipment yeah. back, and I said, well, probably <laughs> an, engineer. an engineer. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't fall asleep at the console. <laughs> but I told him, I said, I guess pull tax, you know, that that. But then the Fairchild limiters, yeah. yeah. Fairchild limiters, LA38 limiters, those are great. Oh, you know, what I did especially. I didn't, oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. tell you. I, Mike McLean called me. Oh, yesterday. really? Oh, I was talking to Bobby about Mike McLean. Were you really? Yeah, yeah he called, and he's going to come back on the forum. We're going to do like just uh -huh. a technical thread. He doesn't want to get involved. But he was just, he had me in stitches. He just ranting. You know how he rants and things just yeah. ranting. So, anyway, yeah, it was good to talk to him. Oh, Mike McClain. You never knew Mike McClain. Oh, God, was he a piece, is he a piece of work? That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. He's like an audio Einstein. Yeah. Oh, he got the hair and the, you know. <laughs> yeah. Eighth grade education, this guy could design audio stuff. And plus, when he came out to L.A., He's working in movie studios, you know, in the big one. Oh, we want to try, we want to do so you have to build these things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Genius. Yeah. Genius.
and just goes uh, to show you that he, <laughs> he was telling me that. He says, you know, I was, you know, I was kind of a prima donna at Motown. <laughs> you know, he says, when I got out in the movie business, he says, they don't like prima donnas in the technical side. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, man, he says, I got put down, knocked down, you know, put down, you know, they just, and finally I got up and I said, Hey, fuck you! Don't you know what's wrong with this tube? <laughs> and he became Mike McLean again, you know? So, anyways, look at, yeah, and he told me, like, he bet. I said, You ever meet Mel Blank? Because he was at Warner Brothers. Uh -huh. And he says, Mel Blank, he told me all about Mel Blank. Oh, wow. Nicest oh, guy, oh. and it always showed up on time yeah. for the day. You know, all they had to do was put the microphone in front of him. He knew what he wanted to do. Yeah. And, and he says, He was Mel just Blank like a really Really nice like guy. Bunny and you have all, all the voices. All the, you know, Elmer, Fudd, Port, yeah. <laughs> I did all of them. All of them. Yeah, he was quite a, quite a. I read this article about him one time, and he's in the hospital for something. He says, past the time he started counting all the different voices he could do, oh, yeah. over 400. <laughs> 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 I wonder if this thing's been going ten minutes. Has he just got a ten minutes? Are we through talking about Pro Tools? I guess so. Huh? <laughs> Stick with old school, folks. Yeah. It never lets you down. <laughs> Say goodbye, everybody. I guess eight, eight out of old school now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like it. Hey, right. I always did. That's it.